Welcome back to another IAM Users video. We're going to take a look at how to do root radius on a thread. Now, currently root radius is not something that's attached to the actual thread tool, nor are there any additional tools that allow it to attach. We're going to use the corner arc to actually measure the thread, but the problem is as this rotates, that thread's going to move left or right. So we have to create something that's going to use compound referencing. Essentially, we're going to use multiple features on this part to make lines that will always move and find the right edge. Sounds complicated, it's really not. With everything that's in, involved in a thread, you always need to use a center line. So we're going to start with a center line tool. Simply click across the center, expand it out to encompass the threads, hit apply. All right. Essentially what we want to do to make this work is we want to find that first full thread. So we want to scan along this peak until we can find that. And the first thing we want to do is use a peak line tool. If you use the regular thread tools, this is already dropped in automatically. We click, drag, hit apply. Make sure your peach arrow is pointed away from the center of the thread. If you want to do it on the other side, simply click, drag, hit apply. All right, great. The real secret to this tool is in your point on line tool. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to click out here where there's no thread and then drag our mouse to a point where we're guaranteed to strike a thread. Under edge direction, we want to specify bright to dark and maximum edge. We want to make sure we're not going to accidentally hit any pieces of dirt or dust that are on the screen. That's why we select maximum edge. We then scroll down to the bottom and here's where the magic happens. There's position and postural adjustment down at the bottom of the tool. Select a line with a base element, and then click on the actual peak line. We're going to make sure it's set parallel, and then set our target equal to zero. Essentially what this is going to do is take this tool, and regardless where this tool is, when I hit apply, it's going to snap right onto the threads. And it's guaranteed to grab a thread. If you want to have it grab a specific thread, make your peak line tool smaller and then you can set it to that specific area to look for a thread. In this case, we don't really care, we just want to measure a couple of pitch of a uh, root radii. Hit OK. Now what we need to do is create a perpendicular line through here, something we can reference off of. So we're going to go to virtual figure, perpendicular. Perpendicular through the center, through this point. Now I'm a sucker for neatness, so we're going to shrink this down so it's not taking up the whole screen. Beautiful. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually add in the lines to make up these angles. We go under Element, Line, Click, Click. I suggest shrinking the box down and also setting it dark to bright. You don't have to, but it's preferred. Scroll down to the bottom, and now what we're going to do is we have a vertical line that moves left or right with this point and this point is always going to find a thread. So we're going to set this box reference to this line. That's where the compound referencing comes in. We don't want to set it parallel, we actually want to set it arbitrary. And most threads need to be set at a 30 degree angle. Hit apply, you'll see it attaches. Now we've got the angle down great, the problem is that this box needs to also move left or right with this line. That's where set distance from target comes in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually set this distance equal to 15. Where did that come from? Well, there's 26 threads per inch on this part. 1 over 26 gives me about 38 thousandths per thread. Now I could do the full 19 for half of that thread. The problem is that I'm actually at the top of a thread right now as opposed to the middle of it. So I shortened it just a little bit. you'll see it attaches. Next, and then we'll drop in another one. In this case, I want to set it to negative 30. And instead of 15, I'm just going to set it to a full 30. If you don't get an attachment, it's because you set your dark to bright lines. So make sure to change the direction of the arrow. From here on, you're actually just going to add a straight 38 to each part. So let's do another 30 degree. 
15 and 38, so we're going to go to 53. Again, change my arrow direction. Negative 30 this time. 68. And so on and so forth. Adding 38 each time. Now that we have these lines, what this allows is that these search boxes for these lines will move with this point. So watch this. If I take this point and I move it all the way over here, watch what happens. It shifts everything with that thread pool. So this will find and locate a thread and then shift those elements to that location. Just like that. All right, now let's measure the actual root radius here. Well, for that, we're going to go under app, corner arc, one, two, hit apply. Next, one, two, and hit apply. You can put in your tolerances, and then you're ready to go. This doesn't affect your thread tool, so feel free to use your regular thread tool so that you can grab your major mi diameter, minor diameter, and pitch diameters. That's it. Hopefully that was helpful. If you need to see the video again, feel free to.